Greetings. Peace be with you. So let me ask you a question. What does meditation mean to you? Because depending on who you ask, you get a very different answer to this question. I remember when I used to think that meditation meant emptying my mind, clearing my mind of my thoughts or meditation for me was like going to the gym so that I could get present to the moment or meditation just meant mindfulness, right? Being right here, right now without getting distracted. So at this point, I want to share with you why meditation is kind of like taking a dump. <laughs> it might sound strange, but why do you defecate, right? Why do you take a dump in your life? So I think a large part of it is getting rid of the toxins, right? Getting rid of these accumulated ingredients in our body that we get from our food that don't have a place in our body and therefore our body lets go of them and therefore we are able to relieve ourselves of stuff that doesn't serve us. So I look at meditation in a similar vein as well because it's like I'm sitting there in my practice and really at this point in my journey, it's about not so much clearing my thoughts, but again, understanding that I'm not my thoughts. Okay, you've heard me say this before that you are not your thoughts. The fact that you can observe your thoughts means that there is someone doing the observing, right? And I think that it's so easy to get caught up in the identification with the thoughts that sometimes it just, we tend to believe that we are our thoughts and we get some messed up thoughts in our head and we're like, yo, how can I be a messed up person? But the meditation practice for me is about elevating beyond that thought chatter, elevating beyond that drama and beginning to identify which thoughts serve me and which thoughts do not. And the reason I compare it to taking a dump is because the practice is what allows us to separate what is us and what is not us. So many of our thoughts have been picked up from our impressions of what we experience through the five senses, right? What other people said, what we think society expects of us, what we expect of us might not even be what is true to us. It might be a parental expectation that we think is what we need to achieve to be successful. We might think that we are striving to be a certain way but what if that way is not true to you what if it's not in alignment with your reason for being for why you are really here with your dharma as they would say in eastern philosophy or your ikigai as they would say in japan and what meditation allows is for us to defragment the hard drive right like in the same way that we're taking in a lot of food right we're feeding our physical body our mind is picking up on a lot of impressions throughout the day, right? It's some sign, some study I was hearing about, it's like, you know, a minimum of 50,000 advertising messages is what the average person is exposed to every single day. So how do you know what is even you, right? And that is why meditation is the most important thing for me every single day. And I don't even like using the word meditation because it's like, oh, meditation has so many different meanings. I like what Vishen Lakhiani of Mind Valley says. He says that it's more about a transcendent practice, about blocking out the stimulus that is coming into the mind and just sitting there with yourself, sitting in silence, right? Practicing silence for me is what meditation looks like at this point, just sitting in my place of silence. And sometimes I'm just able to really reach that state whereby I'm elevated and I feel like this. I don't even feel a sense of myself. I just feel at one with everything that is. And then sometimes there's so much chatter going on. And still, that is probably the day where it's even more important for me to go through that because it's probably like I picked up all of these impressions. And sitting in my place is where I can allow the hard drive to defragment, right? Allow the stuff that doesn't serve me begin observing it, begin feeling the emotions that are leading to this thought, and then just letting them go, okay? When I look deeper into my thoughts and analyze where they're even coming from, more often than not, it's like a certain emotion that's creating a thought, and that thought is basically a rationalization for how I feel. So anytime I feel a certain way, and it's something that is not exactly a high vibration frequency, it's like, I can just feel it, sit in my place, right? In the Tao, they say it is the state of actionless action, right? Wu Wei. It's like you're just sitting there. And in that moment is when you're letting go. You're allowing the space for new things to come through. 
and when we can really observe our thoughts is when we can draw the differentiation between what is us and what is not us right you are the eternal witness you are the backdrop that is aware of this experience but you are not the experience and when we got get caught up in the experience we think we don't have the power to change it because we are it but when we realize that we are not the thoughts that we are something that is in the backdrop that is experiencing these thoughts then we can begin to pick out which thoughts are serving us which thoughts we picked up from our environment which thoughts we picked up from societal expectations which thoughts we picked up from parental programming and really tracing down those thoughts all the way down to the emotions that are creating these thoughts and if those emotions are not serving us really experiencing them feeling them fully and then letting them go okay and another analogy is basically like a computer right a computer has a hard drive and it has a ram when you open up all these windows it's like you're taking up all the ram right and then meditation is kind of like closing all those windows and defragmenting the hard drive right so that more space is created for that infinite intelligence to flow through for that awareness that you are the source of this experience you are not the experience you are the awareness that is in the backdrop right and that is why like every single morning every single night practicing silence is the most important thing that i do because it allows me to get in touch with my center with my equanimity with my poise with my essence rather than getting caught up in the reactionary state whereby it's just like oh you know i should do this because of that or i should do that because of this it's like no what is true to me and what do i know in my heart of hearts is the right thing for me to do right now and what voices in my head are not mine right another thing that i've mentioned on this channel before is like if we took every single thought in your mind and put it on a hard drive and sat together and analyzed which how many of these thoughts actually originated within you like if i ran through the experiments like probably the thoughts in my head like less than 5% are actually my own are actually originated from the source within and the majority of them are just picked up from outside of me okay so that's just my two cents on why meditation is kind of like taking a dump and i leave you with a quote from rumi who said that silence is the language of god everything else is poor translation okay meditate on that because silence the silence within the silence is where you begin to see absolute reality for what it actually is which cannot be explained in words because that's our ultimate dilemma where you try to explain the absolute in the terms of language within itself is relative because everything is going to be something is going to be lost in translation right you're watching this right now but you're not going to get the same thing from this video as someone else so yeah I'll leave you with that okay and i will leave you in the peace and power of the one infinite creator i hope that you have this practice this transcendent practice in your life because it is the one thing that will make the biggest difference in every area of your life when you can really get in that gap and begin to strengthen your mastery over that place between stimulus and response then you can truly begin consciously creating yourself a new in every golden moment of now okay so much love to you take care and i'll see you in the next video